Welcome back to the Waste Zone, my friends. In today's video, I wanted to make, um, it's kind of a quick video, and it's gonna be the five things that every Fallout Shelter player should know. Um, this is updated to our year, currently 2024, and it's gonna be pretty much everything you need to know as of right now, what you should <laughs> be doing in Fallout Shelter. So, first off, Fallout Shelter has had many updates, specifically around the Fallout Shelter TV show. No. The Fallout TV show, okay? Wow, Fallout Shelter's corrupted my mind. Anyways, the update is immense, and they keep updating it. They keep adding a bunch of stuff. So there's new outfits, a lot of new outfits, by the way. New weapons, a lot of them. Um, I've actually made videos, and I've seen people commenting, how do I get this on PC, uh, Xbox, PlayStation? You don't. I mean, there is hope for PC, but not the consoles, Switch, any of that. Um, what you have to do is you have to download the game through Google Play. Google Play is what mobile uses, um, and then iOS, I don't know how it works there, the App Store, but it is updated um, through there, I believe. So if you are on PC and you want to get the benefits of mobile's updates, all you have to do is download it through Google Play, and that's how you're going to be able to play it, you know, updated. It won't take any of your saves or anything like that, unfortunately, um, just because it's like a different version of the game. Uh, but yeah, I mean, at least you can play with all the updates, and trust me, there are a lot. Alrighty, the next thing you need to know is that endurance only affects health when leveling up. Now, this is something I have recently been um, aware of. I've been told this by commenters and all that, and I've seen it in some forums, and I've also seen, you know, endurance increases health overall. So, I've tested it, and as I've tested it, I've found out everyone's right. Endurance does not add health. It, I mean, it does when you level up, but overall, no. So, if you're wearing endurance plus seven, on your character and you're thinking it's going to give you more health, it doesn't. That's how it should work, that's how it makes sense, that's how every Fallout's done it. Fallout Shelter's confusing as hell and I just now am aware of that, so I wanted to tell you guys that. It doesn't do anything, so you can really give them whatever you want. You know how everyone was putting endurance rooms in the very top of the vault, like the Nuka-Cola bottlers, and when the enemies raided, well, they're already wearing endurance gear, so they'll be fit for it? No, not really. It's actually just about having super dwellers, and I have a whole video to that, I'll link um, in the description below, of how to make a super dweller. That's when endurance comes in handy. Endurance seems like a useless stat right now when I'm talking about it. It's not still the best, as long as you level them up, you know, accordingly to that video and um, other people's methods. So, be sure to watch that if you want to know everything about endurance. But yeah, adding endurance outfits doesn't do anything, except for um, when you send them out to the wasteland. It still helps there, so, I mean... Don't ask me. It's confusing, guys. I know it's confusing as hell. Who knows what they were thinking when they made this game. It's a great game, but golly, the endurance is confusing. All right, kind of going off of the first thing I talked about, the update includes a bunch of new things, and I want to tell you what they are if you do have the updated version, which you should, and that being there is new characters, um, many from the show. Actually, all this new stuff is just from the show, um, except for one thing. Maybe, yeah, just one thing. Um, so there's new characters. You got uh, main, all the main characters really from the show, including like the Enclave guy, um, Chet, Norm, what's his name, Hank McLean, um, of course Lucy and the main three, you know, Maximus, the ghoul, those guys, but they were added a little bit um, ago. These ones were added more recently, the ones I'm talking about currently. Um, new weapons are added. There is, I cannot tell you how many new weapons there are, but if you look at my most recent video I did on weapons in Fall Shelter, um, it'll show you how much it is compared to what, you know, there was. Anyways, there's the Boss Assault Rifle, the 50 caliber machine gun from Fallout 76, the um, Surgical Ripper, and I feel like there might be a little more. There probably is. I know the Ghoul Revolver, but that was kind of older. Anyways, check it out. The weapons, the outfits, is a bunch of new weapons. Most recently, there is a Vault Security outfit from uh, what looks like, you know, Fallout 76, maybe Fallout 3. It looks really great. And then the Enclave outfit from the Fallout TV show, which also looks pretty great. And those are the new outfits. There is more outfits from the show, but those are just added most recently. And then there are new hairstyles for characters um, from the show. And a lot of them are pretty great. Um, both guy and girl haircuts. So they look, honestly, they're some of the best haircuts we've gotten. So I really like them, and I've been using them a lot in my new characters. There's a new pet, the little... Um, I mean, if you haven't seen the show... It's the very end of the show. It's that little robo-brain pet thing. I won't tell you his name or anything, but it's one of those. It's a little robo-brain, like, freaking Roomba thing. That's a new pet. 
and there are um i'm trying to think of uh, the quests of course but those were old and i think that's it guys quests outfits weapons pets haircuts dwellers i mean literally that's everything so it couldn't be any more except for like a room theme which they did add a room theme but not recently so those are all the newer updates um, that came to Fallout Shelter. Definitely recommend getting it on mobile or Google Play to check it out. Alrighty, this is something I've talked about. I have a whole video on it. I'll link that in the description below as well. Special stats don't affect anything in the vault, except for, of course, the room. So if, you're endur if your endurance is super high, you're gonna be doing great in endurance rooms like the bottling plant. If you're making weapons, all of those special stats that are um, you know attributed to that weapon are gonna help you make that weapon faster. But that's it. That's literally it. If you have high endurance, nothing's going to happen except for the overall health effect that I talked about in the Super Dweller video. Um, Agility is not going to help you attack faster in the vault. It's just going to be stable. And yeah, so literally you don't need to worry about special stats when you're in the vault except for what they do for that room. And I know it's kind of a bummer, but that's that's the truth of it. And so I hope that you know gives you a little more flexibility when giving your dwellers outfits. I mean, honestly, at this point, I just give all my dwellers power armor just because it looks really great, and I'm just based, so I just want to give them all power armor. That way, they look sick, and, you know, honestly, you don't need to worry too much about special stats, especially if you're at late game. Earlier game, it's going to matter, but just know that special stats only affect rooms when you're in the vault. Outside of the vault, then they're going to come in super handy, but, uh, you know, I have a video for that, so we don't need to worry about it in this one. Alrighty, the last thing, I also have a video for this, it'll be in the description below, is time skipping. So I'm gonna try to give you a brief little time skipping uh, idea. So you can set your time back, backwards one week, and then resume to your week. So using your device, set your time, whatever day it is, go a week um, behind, and then put yourself back on the day you are after you've loaded up Fall Shelter. So put it behind, play Fall Shelter, go into your time, put it back into this week, and then you should um, get all your things like a weekly bonus that you do. So that'll be a lunchbox and some caps for how well your performance was. Um, this can sometimes glitch. And so what you got to do is you got to reset it by going ahead a day in advance each time, loading up Fall Shelter each time, boom, 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 collecting it, and then going back. If that sounds confusing, I made a video for it. The reason I'm talking about it right now is because I do not want you guys paying for lunch boxes if you want to because that method's too long i completely understand it and you know go ahead and buy lunch boxes if you want to buy anything from the store and you know buying it i feel like if we do buy it it's going to give them more updates so that is a positive but i mean there's really not worth it except for the pets and the mr handies and you know even nuka cola quantums don't even bother because you can just do the times clip um but yeah what the hell was that anyways you're going to be using the time skipping for lunch boxes, caps, and speeding up processes. Don't buy anything from the store with real money unless it is the pet carriers, which are really hard to get unless you just buy them, as well as Mr. Handy's, which, you know, same thing. So if you want to do that, you're going to have to buy the only things that are worth buying and then time skip for the rest. And I have a video for that in the description below. Guys, that's going to be it for this video. Um, if it sounded a bit convoluted, I do apologize. I just wanted to get that all off my head because I know there were some things in there um, that need to be said, such as the endurance, the updates, how to play it, you know, the updated version. So I do hope that helps. Hope it wasn't too long. Hope I wasn't too annoying. And I have a lot of videos about Fall Shelter, you know, like this one, and other things relating to Fallout as well. I mean, it's my favorite game. It's, you know, it's a lot to me. So I hope you guys enjoy. If you want to subscribe, I'd really appreciate it. Give me a like if you enjoyed this video or leave me a comment. Tell me what I could have changed, something like that, or any questions you have. Thank you so much for watching and may the wasteland treat you with peace and prosperity.